In this quick overview video, we'll demonstrate a number of features in SendShare 5.4. Let's start with asset relations. In this demo case, the asset is a magazine that has a number of different types of relationships, including what season it's planned for, what assets are currently placed into it, as well as what other assets are assigned for this particular magazine. Now let's edit that InDesign document directly in the web browser. As we look at the overview, we can see there's a front page, a couple of inside spreads, and a back cover. No images have been placed yet. As I move to the editor view, then I can see that there's a placeholder box for the image. Looking at the assignments, I can drag and drop one of the assigned images onto the cover page. Clicking refresh will actually send all of this information back to an InDesign server to generate a high resolution preview. If I'm a user who has permissions, I can actually resize the image on the page I also need to edit the text. In this case, the text is an in-copy asset, so we're sending the text information over to an in-copy editor. When we edit the text, we're using track changes mode so that we can see all previous edits, just like in Word. Another refresh, and we have a live preview. Now let's use some standard content across multiple output channels. In this case, an article. If I look at the article, I can see that there's content, target groups, a number of authors, and a main picture. If I want to see the article as it's currently being hosted on the website, I can easily preview it. In this case, there are multiple language versions, including English and German, on the main content. But the print version is going to have a different template than the web version. By dragging and dropping the article on the InDesign document, I can ask SendShare to place all of the images, all of the content, and allow that to adhere to the creative rules we've already set up in the template. SendShare can dynamically do image checks as we place an image on a page. In this case, because we're going to the print output channel, we want 300 dpi, but this image is only 127. SendShare is smart enough to give us an alert to let us know. We can also use products as assets, in this case the extra cherries. A number of different metadata fields are already applied to this product, and as well as other products that it's similar to. When we drag and drop a product onto an InDesign page, SendShare places not only the image, but all of the relevant text information as well. In this case, we're even calculating the discount and the price across multiple currencies. you can actually place an entire asset group within InDesign. So in this case, we have six different products that are being placed, each of which contains an image, some metadata, and a price information. SendShare allows us to even create our own custom assets, such as a company, with related branches. When you place the company asset on the page, SendShare will send all of the correct information to the InDesign server, as well as the metadata and specific contact information for each location. Finally, we want to see the finished product as the press ready PDF. Pressing the Generate PDF button shows a downloadable PDF ready to be used. All of the correct high resolution images, article content information, metadata associated with particular images, pricing information, article number, etc., is updated and ready to go. Now we have a finished asset with new relations to the placed images. The magazine has a number of placements associated with it. I hope you enjoyed this overview of SendShare 5.4. Please contact IO Integration if you have any other questions.